Hello and welcome to Droix. Today we are checking out the Minis Forum TL50 Mini PC. We will be unboxing it, taking a look at its features, then running some system and gaming benchmarks to see its performance. Let's start with the unboxing. Inside we have a quick start guide which is in multiple languages including English, German and Chinese. Next we have the TL50 mini PC which we will show in more detail shortly. Underneath the packaging there is a HDMI cable. There is a power brick and cable. We will include the correct adapter for your country. Next, there is a drive bracket and SATA cables for installing a hard drive or SSD. And last but not least, there is a Visa mounting plate and screws to attach the TL50 to the back of your TV or monitor. The Minis Forum TL50 measures around 5.9 by 5.9 by 2.2 inches and weighs 650 grams. On the front are 3.5mm microphone and headphone jacks, two USB 3 ports and a USB Type-C port. On the back are two USB 2 and two USB 3 ports. There are two 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports for very fast data transfer. There is a display port and HDMI port for dual monitor display. And finally there is a USB Type-C port which is used for the power supply. Opening the bottom of the case reveals the replaceable NVMe SSD. There is also space inside to fit two 2.5 inch R drives or SSDs to further expand the storage. Let's take a brief look at the tech specs. The Minis Forum TL50 uses the Intel i5 1135G7 processor, which has 4 cores and 8 threads, running up to 4.20 GHz. It has the Intel Iris XE graphics, running up to 1.3 GHz. Inside is 12 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and from 256 gigs to one terabyte of PCIe NVMe SSD depending on which configuration you buy. For connectivity there are two ultra fast two and a half gigabit ethernet ports, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.1. Passmark runs a series of tests on the CPU, GPU, RAM and storage, pushing them to the maximum load to provide an artificial performance rating. The Minis Forum TL50 scores 3449 with around the average area for most tests and above average for the storage speed. Overall they are very good scores. PC Mark runs a series of tests that cover real world tasks such as web browsing, media consumption, working with large office documents and much more. This gives us a good indication of performance for day to day tasks. The TL50 scores 4910 with very good scores across the tests. 3D Mark tests the CPU and GPU together to provide performance for tasks such as gaming, image processing and video decoding for example. The Minis Forum TL50 scores 1500 with well above average scores compared to similar computer configurations. We start off the gaming benchmarks with Street Fighter V. We are running the first match benchmark at 1920x1080 and maximum graphics settings. The Minis Forum TL50 scores an average of 38 frames at the end of the match. Our next test is for Final Fantasy XIV running at 1920x1080 with high desktop settings. The TL50 scores 3833, putting it just out of the standard rating at slightly low. 
Our next test is run for the default lowest, medium and highest graphics levels to get a range of performance over the graphics settings. The Minis Forum TL50 scores 47 FPS on lowest, 32 on medium and 27 frames per second on highest. A quick recap of the benchmark scores. Overall, the scores are very good for a mini PC that does not have a dedicated graphics card. The system benchmark scores are all very high, meaning that you will see good performance from everything, including booting windows, loading software, to using large office documents for example. While it's not a gaming mini PC, the game's benchmarks are still impressive. This is the same processor found in the GPD Win 3 i5 model, and on the TL50 it performs a little faster, most likely due to the cooling. Games can be very playable by lowering the resolution and or graphic settings. If you are looking for a mini PC for home or office work, then the Minis Forum TL50 comes highly recommended. It takes up very little space and can be mounted on the back of a display. It is also very energy efficient and most importantly it is powerful enough to handle your day to day tasks. That wraps up this Minis Forum TL50 review video, we hope you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with our latest videos. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you back in our next video.